We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here. So happy to be with you on another day that God, our God, our good and gracious God has given us. The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ is a good God. And He is with us. As children of God, He is with us. We must be rest assured that God is fighting for us. And He is restoring us. As you know, today is Monday and on Monday I share the Monday prophetic word. I've got a word for you and I know God will bless you even as you hear this word. So stay tuned and trust and believe God and connect in faith even as I share this word. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then I'll begin to share what the Lord laid on my heart concerning this season. Right now in your own words, welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you're watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit, speak to us. And lead us closer to Jesus. Lead us into all truth. And help us to put to death the misdeeds of the body. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, as I was seeking the Lord, this is the word that I feel that God has placed on my heart to share with you. God is reviving and restoring your dreams. Don't give up but rather speak to those dreams in faith and say dry bones rise again. Certain things can happen in a person's life that can be really discouraging. Things that can really discourage people from pushing on. You may have faced something in the past season, in the past year, that has really discouraged you and made you look at your dreams and say, is this even possible? Or is this even worth pursuing? But I want to stand here and encourage you. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your calling. Keep on pushing on and keep on trusting God. Keep on pushing on in your dreams with the leading and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Don't allow discouraging situations to make you give up on your dream. But rather take it to the Lord in prayer and let Him guide you. Good things come to those who believe and refuse to give up against all odds. And God loves you. He is not done with you. Speak in faith to that dream and that vision and that calling, that purpose, that destiny. With the power and the authority in the name of Jesus. And tell it to rise again and keep pushing forward. Now, as the Lord laid this message on my heart, the Lord led me to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, from verse 1 to verse 10. And I'm going to read to you from the ESV version. It says, The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones, and he led me around among them. And behold, there were very many, on the surface of the valley. And behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones. Say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these dry bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a sound, and behold, a rattling. And the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I looked, and behold, there were sinews on them, 
and flesh had come on them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded, and the breath came into them. And they lived, and they stood on their feet, an exceedingly great army. But dear friend, one thing that stands out to me over here, especially in our dreams, in our vision, in our calling, in our purpose, in our destiny, in our gifting that has gone dormant because we haven't used it in a long time. Prophesy over it. Speak to it by the leading of God. Understand and know Ezekiel never just went himself into a valley of dry bones and started to prophesy. First of all, he was taken there by the Spirit. And he was told what to do. And he did exactly what he was told to do. That's when the miracle happened. Even in this vision that he had. It's the same principle at work over here. As I released a message on how to move in miracles, signs and wonders. You can find that under the supernatural and anointing playlist. We don't just do miracles by ourselves. We are not the one who decides when it should happen. But we listen to God's command. And just as Ezekiel was obedient, we must be obedient. In this passage, he was in a deep vision. And he was taken there. And notice that the things began to happen when he did what God told him to do. He never just went there by himself. He followed the leading of God. In the same way, follow the leading of God. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on your vision. Don't give up on your calling. Don't give up on your purpose or your destiny. There are things that can come in this realm that could discourage us. But I'm here to say don't be discouraged. Keep on going. And do exactly what God says you must do. And you will see God move and work in ways that you never even imagined. You will see God move and open doors. You will see the divine hand of God at work. So much so that you will turn around and you will thank Him. You will say, Father, thank you. Because I can see that this can only be you. And God will do great and mighty things in your life. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by praising God just for a few moments. And as we discern God's presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I know God will bless you. In saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for a brand new day and a brand new week. And we lift up your name even today. We glorify your holy name. For you alone are holy. You alone deserve the glory and the honor and the praise. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come. We give you praise and thanks for everything that you do from the small things to the big things. And you take us to places that we never even dreamed or imagined that we would go. Thank you for every new day that we get to live to the fullest, to wake up and to live in our purpose and destiny. Thank you for every moment in Christ that we get to experience your presence. And thank you for the family and the friends that you've placed around us. We give you praise and we thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. My dear friend, now as I begin to pray for you in line with this word, I encourage you, comment and agree and connect in faith. Father, I pray for my dear friend. I pray wherever my dear friend's dream, purpose, destiny, calling, and your will for their life that they were pursuing has become dormant. I pray that every dry bone 
of that purpose, destiny, dream, vision, calling, may live again. Breathe life into my dear friend's dreams. And I pray that you will speak to my dear friend, your dear son who is tuned in, my dear friend, your dear daughter who is tuned in. Speak and give direction and guidance in what my dear friend must do and how my dear friend must do it. And give us the grace to be willing and obedient when you speak, that we may see your divine hand at work. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.